What up, what up, what up? It's your boys, April Fool's Pod. We are back at it again with episode 110. 110, that's tight. 110, dude. We're making moves. We gotta make a wish next week, dude. 11-11, oh, huh? 1-1-1. 1-1-1. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna, first of all, apologize for missing the last two weeks. It was my fault. No, we did one the, two weeks ago. Did we? Just last week. Oh, it was just last week? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, just last week. It's all good. Oh, you're a good dude. Yeah. No, I've been uh, I've been helping wrestling practice, bro. You're coaching. Coaching. Your uh, nephew. My nephew, yeah. The Help. Valley Juniors. Valley Junior wrestling, bro. You like it? It's fun, bro. It's it's a blast. It's like. Do you go in and wrestle? Uh, like, all the kids are still little, but well, I mean, like, yeah. You, you don't you don't give them like examples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll like teach them how to like do stuff and shit like that. But it's fun. You still remember how? I still remember how there's there's yeah finally like like doing stuff and then um was it last week last week Jerry was there Jerry usually just runs the practice and um last week he was like uh, I gotta take a call he's like just keep getting them through uh like their stretches and I was like fuck what, what do we stretch now? like I forgot the stretches like the beginning of the practice yeah we're like stretching stretch out and I f- was forgetting like <laughs> shit I was like but yeah, mariposas what are those uh butterflies oh yeah gotcha but yeah oh yeah, yeah did yeah. butterflies three times and then yeah. Jerry came back <clears throat> that's nice Jerry's having fun too yeah it's his son is doing it too yeah his son's good too yeah is he yeah he's going with the mullet yeah uh, yeah he's a little stud but yeah it's been fun so no complaints on that what is that age eight to nine it's like uh six to 14 is like the age group. So yeah, do you have six year olds fighting 14 year olds? No, it goes oh. by weight. Oh. Yeah, it goes by weight. So it, like weight, weight and age, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, because there's like a max like weight for like some kids too. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's awesome, dude. This past couple weeks have been crazy, bro. This past like six months, huh? Just nonstop. Nonstop, bro. Maybe Everything. three months. You, you've been fucking busy as fuck. Moving into a new crib, dude. Yeah, you're all moved in now? All moved in, finally. Hell yeah. That's good. Having some mic difficulties. No, we're good. I just got it. Um, All moved in, got my house, got my room, got my, got a rug today. Just go pick up a dining room table tonight. But yeah, dude, feels good. Got Ryan D's and uh, Sam's wedding this weekend. I'm going to go this weekend. Shout out. Shout out. That'll be cool. Hell yeah. Staying there at the ranch. Not really sure that this how this setup's gonna go, but I think we're it's like a big, like a big cabin. I think I don't know. Oh, that'd be cool. Like it's like we have our own room. I think we have our own room, or like we. Oh, because you're in the. I'm a groom's. Oh yeah, that's gonna be pent. I think it's pent, right? I have to go get my tux tomorrow. You're all fitted, all good. Yeah. Oh, nice. We have to go. I have to go pick it up either tomorrow or Thursday. Fuck! I hope it fits. What? If it doesn't fit, just you should have. Yeah. Well, Well, you have to. Well, he already. We already got fitted for it. And yeah. Then, now we just have to go pick it up. Usually they have, like, you should, like, go check on it on, like, Monday. Okay. I'll and, probably like, go see, tomorrow. Yeah, just see if it fits okay. And then if, like, something's off, they could at least have time to fix it. All right. Fuck. I might have yeah. fucked up. Yeah. But um, that's exciting. Tuxes are tight. Weddings are fun. Being in a wedding is fun. Is it? I like it. Take some pics. It's fun. Tomorrow. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. You don't really have to worry about anything. You just party. I'm ready, dude. Actually, I'm not ready. I'm good on partying for a while. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I haven't, dude, I haven't been able to party. <clears> like, <throat> drinking cripples me now. Yeah, it 30. Hurts. 30 whoop my ass. My freaking liver I get, hurts. I get heartburn now. Oh, really? Dude. Good. It sucks. I get it. If I eat something shitty, like fried or cheese or tomato no, sauce like, or spice. Dude, like. Or drinking. I drink, like, yeah, drinking. The next day? Drink, no, just like right away. Oh, yeah. Good. Like I can't drink like twisted teas. It's probably good. Immediate, immediate yeah. heartburn. Uh, Craft champagne. Beer. Oh, I hate. That's why I can't. I don't like yeah. mimosas. Mimosas, immediate heartburn. That's why. Dude. I've been saying this, dude. Dude, I, hate I understand. <laughs> it sucks ass. Craft beer will fuck me up. Um, no, I'm just kidding. My liver doesn't hurt, but um, probably a good idea. Yeah, it's all right. If your if your heart is starting to hurt. Yeah. If your heart is starting if to burn. If your heart is starting to burn, yeah, you should probably <laughs> settle the fuck down. I'm starving also right now. 
But uh, what's going on in the world, dude? There's a lot of shit going on. A lot of stuff that I don't know that we probably yeah. should know. That we don't. That we don't. But also we don't know. Yeah, I don't want to get into that. I don't know. Yeah. Shout out them, though. Like, or not shout out them. Shout I out I think them? shout out Israel. Half of them. No, not shout out Israel. No, not shout out Israel. Also, I don't know. Let's Wait, not Mark. shout out this <laughs> at all, actually. Let's not shout it out. It's pretty bad. Yeah. But well, prayers, I think there's T's a, and P's. T's and P's. T's and P's. And yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, T's and P's. Um, um, did you see that there's a Bigfoot? In, in Colorado? In Colorado, dude. <laughs> did you see that? I think it was just some dude on, on mushrooms or something chilling. It's a hairy man? Wearing like a suit. Like a ghillie suit. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that video? And do you guys believe in it? No, I haven't seen it, but I'll look it up right now. Look up the video. It's it's co- yeah, Colorado Bigfoot, and it it like it's like walking. There's a fo- it's a good video, and then they get it. They like zoom in, and he just like starts hiding like in the bushes. But how did he know they were looking at him? Well, there's a fucking big ass train that passed. Him. Oh, they were on the train. They were on the train. I don't know. I believe this more than the fucking Mexican aliens. That's for sure. Oh, that's for sure. I'll those definitely little, believe in Bigfoot. Those little Mexican mummies. Yeah, look at this video. <laughs> oh Black. my god, Jack Black. What is this, the fucking train to Hogwarts, dude? Oh, dude? I don't know. I believe it. All right, let me see if I can find a better video real quick. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, the, they were on the Hogwarts Express, dude, and found Bigfoot. I believe in it. I, don't, I mean, I don't care. I think it affects us less than aliens do. Who started the Bigfoot rumor? Ooh, look at that. Why up. is that? Why... Maybe it's not, yeah. Well, they had to have seen it, just like Loch Ness. But the Loch Ness was freaking. All right, dude. History of Bigfoot. How the legend began. Fuck, long. That does look like him, dude. Okay. (laughs) Damn. See? All right, well, take a better video, you know, guys? But look, he starts hiding, bro. But there's only one of them, or is it, if there's... There's multiple. There's probably a bunch of them. There has to be more than one, because they see him in fucking Alaska and shit, too, right? Yeah. The train's conductor told... Oh, the train... I think the train conductor said, like, I think he stopped the train or something. I was like, look. I like that little transition that he does. I would stop, though. My ass off. I would stop and look. I believe in it. Like, look, there's fucking Bigfoot, bro. Oh, they find big, like... Feet, big feet tracks, wild man menace. <laughs> I saw a, there was feet. a there was I saw this guy doing sad comedy. He's like, yeah. He's like, I just found out that uh, a big foot means big dick. <laughs> and he's like, so why do we call Bigfoot Bigfoot? It should be called <laughs> Big Dick. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm in. Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Sas Sasfoot. Big dick trick checks out with me, dude. Um, it started in 1958 um, with mysteriously large footprints. Ooh. And so a legend Where was born. The, where at? Um, you know? In Northern California. Yeah, look at this shit. Northern California, Colorado, that's pretty close. It's, no, it's not. They're kind of close to each no, other. No, it's not. For, to, for him to walk for, for there to, to Colorado, <laughs> I'm sure it's pretty I close. I think it's a very far. In 50 years, bro. Oh, like, like you mean like to get to, to make migrate his way over there? Yeah, <laughs> it's too uh, hot in California. Bro. That looks like the thing from. Uh, it looks like a like fake. space odyssey. It looks. It like looks a guy like in a, a monkey suit. Yeah, <laughs> it does look like a guy in a monkey suit. All right, it doesn't check out. I don't know. Let us know what you guys think if you believe in, in Bigfoot or not. But yeah, dude, I don't know. I'd rather believe in this than the fucking stupid ass Mexican aliens. Yeah, would you rather fight um, a Bigfoot than what? Than an alien. Than those little gay aliens? Yeah. The little gay aliens. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I'd rather fight the aliens. Dude. Yeah? Yeah, those guys suck. Those little ones. One Bigfoot would be hard. One if big... he's as big as they say, it's... He it'll, looks it'll pretty hard. fucking big in that thing, hard. bro. Like eight feet. Dude, even little chimps like orangutans will, will fuck you up. Yeah. This thing probably scary. Yeah, but he... I, I don't... There's only... There's but it's always like only scared, one of them. But it's scared. It's always scared yeah. to like... For people to see it. I think that could be a, a hoax. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Checks out for us. Um, did you see a? Uh, have you seen that? Uh, that the K five robot? No. You know what, it is? what is that? Can you guys look this up, please? I don't know if it's in New York. I think it's in New York. 
It's like a new, it's like a little R two D two, like a like a crime thing, like a it's like a cop robot. Stop. But I don't know what it does. <laughs> Have you seen those those robot like uh, delivery things? Yeah, the Amazon. Thing. And people just knocking <laughs> them over and shit. That's a I robot. I don't. It's for the police, right? Is that what it says here? K five robot. <laughs> What yeah, is that? I think, I think they just like patrol a zone and stuff like that. And but like, does what? Just senses crime? Just senses crime. Yeah, he has like spotty senses. Does it have guns? K5. Outdoor security robot, bro. It's security. So it's like probably like, like it's like for surveillance, like as a camera? Yeah. I guess that would make sense. Yeah. Is the first but and it, most versatile model, the K. The Nightscope K5 is intended for <laughs> outdoor use running 24-7 on its own, including autonomously recharging itself without human intervention. Um, it's best suited for securing large outdoor spaces through winters of the northeast and summers of south. Give yourself additional ears, eyes, and a voice by utilizing our fully integrated Nightscope Security Operations Center. Kind of sketchy because if it's just recording all the time, that's sketch and that is not okay. I guess we're all on camera all the time anyway. Look, look. <laughs> I hate that thing. They just pop that's a so fucking sticker yeah, on it. Yeah, NYPD. Yeah, NYPD. Don't get caught by this guy. So it can't make arrests. Watch. You're going to run away Dude, from it. Knock bro. it over. If you're doing crime, that thing's not going to stop you. <laughs> So it has cameras, it has 360 cameras, glows in the dark. Maybe it will. If, it, if you're, it's doing crime and you see that thing coming up, maybe you will be like, all right. I'll cover my face let's and not walk away. Let's drug deal. What is, <laughs> yeah. Is there any, uh, can we get some. Like what's going to happen? With that thing, you're getting your audio ass kicked. There? You're getting <laughs> your ass kicked by some fucking guy who's jumping you. It's not going to And stop. that thing's just recording. <laughs> stop, sir. Yeah. Stop, Please sir. Stop. Please, we're calling the real cops. Push for assistance. Oh, yeah. Get up. Yeah. Stand up and push this button for assistance. The bad guys are going to knock it over on its side. What are they saying about it, Mark? What, what was that guy saying? I I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. And it's, and it's like the first, it's like the prototype. So, oh, shit. Damn. The panic button. Riders can There's use a panic button. Control. It's like a rape whistle. We are taking an it's like an extra large rape whistle. In the subway system and adding to it, supplementing to it, if you will, and adding a series of cameras that not only moves, but a device that can connect subway riders to immediate assistance if the need arises. The number of daily subway riders now tops 4 million, the highest Jesus. number since the pandemic. Jesus. Crime underground. Station. Each bot is equipped with cameras to send live video and other intelligence back to the police department. It's in technology grand. Here's I would assume reporter. And there's a guy there that's <laughs> sitting there watching the video. The newest member of the NYPD what if there's a weighs guy 400 in pounds. <laughs> Just a little man. Nine He's a little alien an fucker. And works midnights without a single yeah. complaint. A real cop just comes out of it. Oh, I could <laughs> see that. I guess like work, like put it in there, have it work overnight. And like a person like watching it. It could be a, like a deterrent. Like if there's if you're if there's this thing walking around it, like in high crime traffic areas, then maybe people won't want to. I don't know. I saw a video where a lot of kids mess with those robots because they're like <clears throat> fun to like look at and stuff. But the robots are designed to try and find the kid's parent, and like they start going <laughs> towards the parent so that the kids stop messing with them. I'll try and find it. I don't know if I can, but that is yeah. That's, yeah, they have like, like a by yourself. Where, yeah, if kids are messing with it, they'll try and identify which one is the parent near them, and they'll just start like driving near them. And, <laughs> it's like, like hey, kid. your kids. Fucking yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dude, it's gonna malfunction. It's gonna hurt somebody. I guess I could understand like the overnight. But not when uh, there's a four million people going through that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. someone's gonna knock it over. This is just the first stage, bro. They're gonna add. They're gonna add tasers and shit to it, like R2D2. They're gonna. It's gonna. It's probably gonna talk. It's gonna have weapons. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I thought that was kind of silly, dude. I don't know. We're just bored. Probably a shitload of money to make one of those things. Oh yeah. And Million. I bet it's not even gonna. I bet How much does one work. cost? Yeah, that's a good question. That's a great question, bro. <laughs> or what's your guess? They weigh four hundred pounds. 
So it might be hard to knock Max over. speed. Guess the max speed. <laughs> Just guess the max speed. Five. Three. <laughs> <laughs> so you can run away from it. Oh, you could a thousand percent run away from it. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, oh, wait, so it costs the city $9 an hour to have that thing running. No, how does it cost to build? Oh, that's not bad. Google price to build. So it probably be ch- it's probably cheaper than a human, but no, it's way cheaper than a human. Yeah, and it, yeah, not probably. So they're just being cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But until that thing can do to can stop real crime, damn. K five. The K five. Oh, okay. the K five. Look at these. Look, the K seven dude is like a car. <laughs> damn, you can just rent them out. Oh yeah, it doesn't even tell you the price. All right, it's because yeah. it's overpriced. Yeah, it's because it's ridiculous. Yeah. All right, well, shut K5 outside my house. <laughs> <laughs> or, but you were talking about the Amazon ones that just like deliver packages, right? There's like a food one, like a Grubhub one, too. But that, tr- like, how does it? It like pulls up to like the fucking place, gets the food, and then drives it to your house. And drives it to your house. <laughs> but it's like, I saw, I saw a video of one, and it was just like, like, like bent over. I was like, me, me, me. Like, me. Not like no one's, fu- yeah. Yeah. And who's going to go and, and service those things? I don't know. See, this is. Well, it was just like kind of like the, the what are the little scooters? The birds. The birds. Yeah. Like how they had them. And then there was just like a person who owned all of them. And he'd just go pick them up at night. Charge them. Oh, like a, like a regular guy? Yeah. <laughs> just, st- just pick them up and steal them? But they were like charging them and they'd take them back. All right. Here's this video of like kids messing with one of these robots. It's like, please get away, hitting it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Kids are so, like. They don't give a fuck. They don't care. They are so, like, <laughs> it's so anything can happen <laughs> with a child. Unpredictable. They are very unpredictable. They're so unpredictable. Yeah, the, this thing is not going to know what to do with some idiot kids hitting it chose to stay close to the child's parent as this lowers the possibility of abuse. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they're, they're going to start learning shit, dude. They're going to start hurting people. Have you seen those uh, Tony Stark glasses, bro? No. They fire? They're like, uh, uh, they're Ray-Bans. And um, Zuckerberg, Zuck, just Horse. invented them. And they're like, I, they have like... Uh, just put the oh, AI, AI Ray Bans or some shit like that. But they're they're they, they have computers on they them. They have like shit? computers built in them, damn. and you're able to like look at stuff, and it will fucking tell you. They have like cameras built in. Oh, like, the Meta Smart Glasses. The smart Glasses, yeah. Damn, they are Ray Bans. Fuck, they actually look. They don't look like all beefy either. Like no. they kind of look like regular glasses. Oh, they're like bifocals. They're like regular glasses. Yeah, regular or glasses, sunglasses. sunglasses. They're only three hundred dollars. Yeah. Why do you? What? What does it do though? I don't know. I mean, live streaming from your eyes. That would be cool. That would actually kind of be cool. Damn. You don't have to worry about a camera. Just yeah, but you can there. see that they have cameras on them. So, so yeah, that'd be sketchy. The uh, regular sunglasses would be more. Uh, like, no, they are. They they're regular too. They do sunglasses as well. I mean, the regular, uh, the, the, just the regular glasses would be kind of more like undercover, like spy vibes. Like yeah, go like you could. But you could like look trouble. at stuff. You could look at stuff and it'll or like you'll look at like something in a different language and it'll it'll uh, translate translate it? It for you. See, that's, that's cool. That is cool. That's really actually that's like see that's probably that the, AI stuff is kind of pain. Yeah, see that's what we need to be doing, not the fucking K five, R two D two dude. Smart glasses, damn. I would like to take them out for a spin. Technology, dude. Take it out for a spin. Technology is fucking crazy right now. Yeah. Just the shit that they're like coming up with. It's getting scary, dude. Fucking scary, bro. It scares the shit out of me, actually. (laughs) I'm more scared of AI and iRobot than I am of Bigfoot and the fucking aliens. Um, What else you got? Um... Oh, have you seen? Can you guys look up this video on YouTube? It's like thanks for searching a bunch of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. It's a open container. uh, It's like a like open container law, but it's like these older like right when it first happened, like these hicks, (laughs) and these hicks are like, damn communists, 
can't even have a beer on my way home. In the car. In the car. Yeah, dude. Like, they're, like, pissed about it. They're like, <laughs> next thing you know, we're, we're going to have, we're, like, we're not going to be able to do anything. Next thing you know, I'm not going to be able to. I'm going to have to wear a damn seatbelt yeah. <laughs> every time I get in the car. <laughs> it's like, next thing you know, I'm going to have to carry my driver's license yeah. everywhere. They're, like, mad. They're like, oh, a, a guy can't just, uh have a hard day at work and drive home with a nice beer, <laughs> cold beer. Like, it's like... I mean, that should have, that should be okay. One beer? Okay, I, I think I might have found it. Is it the, right here? That's it. Yeah. Play it. Play this. Play the... the. To restrict drinking and driving here is viewed by some as downright undemocratic. It's kind of getting common this when a fella can't put in a hard day's work, put in 11, 12 hours a day, and then get in your truck and at least drink one or two beers. They're making it laws where you can't drink when you want to. You, can't, you have to wear a seatbelt when you're driving. And pretty soon we're going to become this country. Come this country. I can't have a country. drink. I can't have a drink on the road. My baby can't have a drink. None of us can have drinks. Well, see, here's the thing. Damn. Because I'm sure one beer, if you have a lo- the longest, hardest day at work, one beer on the, ro- on the way home isn't going to really affect your driving. It's probably not even going to affect you to feel better after the long day. So that's where it st- starts. One beer, it doesn't, it's not just one beer. It's not just one Dudes beer. Dudes are getting re- six drinking pack six packs yeah. on the way On home. the road home, yeah. <laughs> that first one down real good. Uh, next thing you know, we're going to be North Korea. I'm telling you yeah. guys. <laughs> damn old, <laughs> the damn communists just got us real good right now. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not okay. I agree. Yeah. That's crazy though. That is crazy. When was it? That had to have been like oh, that was like the nineties. Yeah, eighties, nineties. Probably earlier, huh? Yeah. It oh. said nineteen uh, eighties on it. Yeah, nineteen eighties, bro. Yeah. Like, that lady had her kid in the front seat, and a baby. She's, I'm upset about it. She's like, I can't even have a damn beer. This <laughs> damn kid's been yelling all damn day. I can't even figure it out. <laughs> can't one drink. It's not just one drink. That's it's never thing. just one drink. So we got to draw the line somewhere. Don't yeah. drink in the car. Just don't drink and drive. Yeah. And that is endorsed yeah. by the April Fool's Pod. Shout out. Yeah. Um, no D-dubs. That's insane. Here. Bro. <laughs> I think it's a good law. It's a great law. But these people are like, yeah, we're the damn near communist country. I, I want to know what they think about what's going on yeah, now. Yeah, right now? Oh, yeah. Those people? Oh, dude, they're probably That they're probably one old guy away. is gone. Yeah. He yeah. <laughs> R.I.P., dude. He's probably... In, he probably, probably had a couple too many, too many beers. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's probably one of those guys that's like a doomsday prepper now. What do you think about that? That shit's kind of crazy. It's kind of like, it's smart in a way. It is, but I mean, if you have enough if you money, have to, the do money it, to do it, then it's chill. But you can't make it your life. Like those actual, like, yeah. have you seen the Doomsday yeah. Pepper, like the <laughs> show? That is their life. Like they have like an armory and like a bunker in their yeah. house. Yeah. They uh, have unlimited toilet paper. Unlimited food. <laughs> like just, they make food on like a certain day of the week and they like can it or like pickle it or whatever. Forever. So it, it gets, yeah. I mean, I guess it's cool. It's a, I don't know. It's probably a lonely life. But, unless you teach your kids how to do it too. I don't know. But even, like, your kid, like, I'd be like, no, dad. Like, it's no way of life. This is sucks. And if the world's going to end, that, there's nothing that you're going to, that is not going to happen. What's going to, okay, you're going to live for an extra five years? Yeah. Is it, it what, what quality of life is that? What's the quality of life after that? Like, after a new kids, yeah. everything's gone, and you have a bunker underground. I've been getting asked this lately. If, the, if it's, like, zombie apocalypse or, like, nuclear, like, like a Chernobyl shit, would you try to survive or would you just fucking? Oh, I'm going to try to survive. Right? For sure. For sure. I'm not going to just. I agree. Laters. People like, are, I've been hearing like, oh, I would just, I don't want to survive. I don't want to live that bad to like go through that That shit. person needs counseling, <laughs> therapy sessions. Um, but yeah. And you heard it here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. You got to try, dude. You have to try to live. Yeah. Like, there's nothing in me that's going to be like, oh, yeah, you know what? I'm, it's not worth it. This, this isn't worth <laughs> This isn't worth it. I'm out. Like, fuck this. It's a very it's a very lazy way to look at the end of the world, I think. It also depends how, how, it's, uh, how it goes down. Alien invasion, probably not much you can do. But if it's like nuclear warfare or zombies, you got to try. Like The Last of Us. You yeah. gotta try. It. Zombies, you gotta try. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's enough zombie movies out there to have a decent knowledge of how to get of by. how to get by. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. Watch the fucking Walking Dead. The wa- have you watched the Walking Dead? Dude, it's good. Really? I kind of want to restart it because the last few seasons are kind of trash. But like those first four, 
fire. Fire? Right. Yeah. I need to do Entourage again, dude. I've been, Ooh, I have clips bro. Entourage. on Instagram. I love Entourage so much. I need to redo it. I love Entourage. It's top three. That's my that's my like comfort show. It, I want it to be again. Yeah, me. it's my comfort show. Like if anything, Entourage. And I think I've said this on the show a hundred times. It's probably about the tenth time. Yeah, because I love that show a lot. Shout out uh, Ari Gold. I kind of want to restart Peaky Blinders. I finished it last year. It's good. It's so good. It's very. It's you got to watch it though. You got to watch it. Can't it. be a comfort show. No subtitles. Yeah, subtitles for sure. For sure, because those guys talk with <laughs> peanut butter on the top of their fucking mouths the whole time. <laughs> they talk like they have marbles and yeah. in their mouth. Yeah, the whole time. Yeah, yeah. You and if you miss five seconds, you don't know who they're talking about, what they're saying. Yeah, definitely subtitles. Such a good show. That's probably the my favorite. Um, battle that I've won against you is that you you subtitles yes subtitles. yeah you're right you're right you did you have to um what did I watch that oh I watched a uh, totally killer it's like a new like slasher but it's kind of like funny kind of funny um but this girl she goes back in time in like a in She's like a, what are they, Gen Z, Gen X? What's the new one, Gen Z? Gen Z is the new yeah, one. Yeah, she's like a Gen Destroying Z. Destroying the world. And she went, she goes back in time. She like goes into like a, like a fucking time machine that her friend built and went back to like the day uh, or like the, the week of like the killings. Okay. Because the killer kills like all her mom's friends. And she's like, if I change it and she doesn't kill my mom's friends, then my mom might be chill. Okay. Or whatever. And oh, then like her, her mom, mom is Gen And then her Z? mom got killed. But, oh, um, shit. Did you just spoil it? No, no, no. Okay. It happens right at the beginning. Okay, okay. Wait, she goes back in time. She's Gen Z. She's Gen Z. And then she goes but back. But it's funny because she, like, goes back and they're, like, saying all this, like, shit, like. Like old school slang? Yeah, old school slang. Like, that's gay. Like, all this. She's like. Yeah. You can't say that. Like, Bring it back, Oh, dude. dude, like, funny <laughs> shit. And it's like. <laughs> Yeah, like just stupid funny shit. And is it a show or a movie? It's a movie. It's good. Yeah, I liked it. It was okay. pretty good. It's kind of like cheesy, corny. Like it's like a seven out of ten. It's good. Okay. It's not bad. It's good enough. But to it's watch. on Prime. It's good enough to watch. Okay. You have to tell me what you think. Okay. Like, I will. Like, but yeah, they like go back. They like try to find the killer. Blah blah. blah. It's I liked it. I'll watch it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of killings, it's spooky season now, dude. It fall, is. Fall is upon us. Falls upon us. Halloween's October. around the corner. Did you go to Bloom Fiesta? No. Not shout out Bloom Fiesta. I've, I see. I switch back every year, dude. I think the years I don't I go try. to Bloom Fiesta, and I'm like, oh, I should have went. But when I do go, I'm, I'm like, like, I'm good. Not shout out Bloom <laughs> yeah, Fiesta dude. because I, it's 30 minutes. Yeah. You see the balloons go, and, and then you, you're, you're in you a fucking field. <laughs> yeah. What else are you gonna with, do with 5,000 other people? It's cold. You have to get there four hours. You had to wake up at three o'clock to get there. Yeah. That, that's ridiculous. They said it was so packed this yeah, year. They, they didn't even have parking. <laughs> they didn't have any parking. Dude. It's only going to get worse. Right? Oh, yeah. And but then they want to build a fucking stadium over there. For what? The United. Huh? On the Balloon Fiesta field. That'd be cool. I think it's going fine at the High Stokes Park. Yeah. They, uh, but I, yeah, I don't. Some years I like it, and then I'm like, and then I'm like, no, I know why I don't deal with it. There's like, it's like $18 for a turkey leg, 14 for a fucking funnel cake. $10 for a coffee. Which is dough and powder. I do love a funnel, good funnel they cake. They are though. good. I like turkey legs as well. You, but you spend a hundred, like, it's, it's a money pit is what it is. Dude. I choked on a, on a turkey leg <laughs> this past state fair. <laughs> you remember when you thought they were ham? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they're smoked. They, they're pink, bro. <laughs> Turkeys aren't fucking pink, bro. Don't and I'll, I, will, I will die on that fucking hill. I don't even care. No, but ham, pigs don't have fucking wings like that. A thigh? No. A turkey might have a thigh like that. No, a turkey does. That's oh, why. A, turkey, a pig. Not no, a pig. A pig ham. Um, what, you choked on one? It Dude, was a state fair? Okay, how was the state fair? Trash. <laughs> um, nothing cool. Food was trash. There was nothing good there. I had a turkey. <laughs> had a turkey leg, though. It's horrible. I had a turkey leg, $22. Oh, yeah. I was like, twenty two dollars. Twenty two dollars. So I had the turkey leg, and I'm sitting there so eating it. Sushi. I'm sitting there eating it, and I get a piece, and a piece goes down the wrong side, bro. And I'm like, uh, uh, <laughs> dude, I had to, I had to go throw myself up. Gutas. Goots. Did you get it out? I got it out, but dude, that was I. <coughs> 
took the turkey leg home, gave that shit to Dodger, bro. He oh, tore it up. Oh, he ripped it I'm up. I'm sure he loved that. Shredded that bitch up. The seat fair is, is probably stupider than the balloon piss, right? It seems like it was bigger when I was a kid. It was yeah. little this year. Uh huh. Like, but also I didn't walk into like the fucking where the rides are. I'm like, I don't want to be around all these fucking kids. The rides are probably the worst part of it. Yeah. The scariest part. Also, yeah. what are you doing putting your children on these rides that were put uh, up in a week? And then taking Where's down, the regulations on this there's shit? There's no regulations. I guess I would go for the food. They had that pickle pizza. Did you see that? Yeah. Uh, not for you. <laughs> not for me. Uh, who? Someone tried it. I think Nick tried it. I saw it. Said I, it was trash. I, it, it probably tastes exactly how you think. Exactly how you think, bro. <laughs> You can't just put pickles on everything either. And I no, love pickles. I do love pickles too. And you can't just do that. That's so basically we pickle our own pickles. Or our own Ooh, cucumbers. Yeah, cucumbers. They, they taste fire. The little pickle chips. Um, yeah. Uh, pepper scent balloon fiesta. Scent, scent for sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing that. Yeah. And definitely scent state fair. Yeah, no state fair. Is it, balloon fiesta still going on? I want to go to like a big state fair, like Texas state fair. Oh, it's probably insane. Yeah. They probably have like animals and shit, bigger animals. Yeah, cooler stuff. There's a petting zoo at the state fair, right? Yeah. But like goats? Yeah. yeah not for me. Would you own a goat? I was just talking about that. I was like just what, to what's like a crazy animal you would own? That you shouldn't own? That you shouldn't own. Uh, well, what would, a, how, what would a goat do for you? Can it make you milk? I think, it could, I think you I don't want milk, though. Or I think cheese? you could. It goat? has to be a girl goat. No, I, maybe a miniature tiny goat. Like if they stayed small? Yeah. Like a little pig would be cool if they're tiny forever. Pigs are disgusting. But little ones are cute. I, have you seen those videos of that lady? She has like an 800 pound pig just living in her house. <laughs> See, that's insane. That's crazy. Yeah. No. It has its own bed Ugh. in the room. And they are disgusting. They fart. I mean, I guess. No, you don't need that. You shouldn't have that. Have you seen that lady that where she. Uh, she rescued like this little kid it looked like or somewhere yeah and it was big but about like week four you could dad like it's like big ass it's a mountain lion no, it was a jaguar well should you look this up please can you look up <laughs> lady lady finds a jaguar and it's playing it's like it's she domesticated it but it's playing with the dogs and other cats and it's like it's it's a big black african wild animal that she found it's it's like two months old and its paws are humongous they just found it? I don't know where she found it and rescued it and nursed it back to health, but it's, like, nice, I guess, now. I don't think those things will ever be nice. Like, you can't just... Like, the people who, like, train bears. That, that, that's... They deserve to die. Maybe not deserve to die, but you deserve... Harm. Yeah, something. It's gonna hurt you. Yeah, you need a... You need or a, even, like, the wolves. Well, well, yeah, but I think that would be... I think I think like a Rottweiler or a fucking pit bull could fuck up a wolf. I don't think I don't think they're gonna last that long. No, I think they could hurt it, but I don't think it's gonna. I think it's gonna come back and kill them. Oh, Wolves are pretty fucking big, bro. I think I could still. No, I don't know. You can't fuck up a wolf. You can't fuck up a wolf. You, you can, I don't think we could. No, unless you get it like a rear naked choke, like did a small saw, wolf. Speaking of rear naked choke, did you see the? The Paul the, fight? Yeah. Oh, I just saw the clips. I just saw it. the clips, too. Damn it. Shit show, dude. Just, it it was the worst a sh- fight ever. Worst fight. I hope nobody paid for it. Yeah. Oh, it was like, I think it was like 65 bucks, dude. Oh, yeah. I hope no one paid Did for it. you watch the whole thing? No, I, I only, I it's watched the just the clips, yeah. So Dylan Dennis is all talk. Yeah, he sucked. He but, was getting wrecked. But also, like. He threw the microphone at him. And like the. At the fight, yeah. The <laughs> pre-games. <laughs> like the pre. So he's a Trump. He's a chump, dude. And Logan, I don't know what to think about Logan. I think I'm a Jake Paul fan more after watching Me interviews too. with him. I don't like Logan Paul at all. I, don't, I think I saw a comment. It was like, Logan Paul is a bad person pretending to be a good person, and Jake Paul is a good person pretending to be a bad person. I think Jake, Jake Paul is legit. Yeah. I think he's, I don't know. Logan Paul is fucking sketch. I don't know. I don't like him. Um, Hopefully he never hears this. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like him. Dude, tsunamis, bro. Tsunamis became my top fear. <laughs> I don't fine. fuck with oceans. We live in New Mexico. I know, but they're a top fear, dude. <laughs> just, just stay away, dude, from California and fucking just Louisiana. Just like you see that, like, I saw a video of, like, the ocean just, like, and it just uh, waved. Like, how do those start? I think hurricanes start them. No, like earthquakes. 
In the sea? Yeah. Oh, that would make more sense. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good fear. Big fear. Irrational fear. For living in New Mexico. Where are tornado? Where do tornadoes happen? Kansas? Kansas, Like, who Texas. lives in Kansas for that? Do tornadoes, like, the movie Twister? A lot of, like, flat areas. Yeah, flat areas. Flat Earth? Flat Earth. The whole world has a tornado. <laughs> tornadoes everywhere. I think, I don't, I think tornadoes used to be my irrational fear like that. And I always, like, felt... I gained solace knowing that we will never get them here because of the, our mountains. Yeah. But, like, in Kansas, do they have tornadoes a lot? Yeah, what's, like, the average? Like, you couldn't live there. After, like, the third time your shit gets wrecked, you need to move away, right? You, you can't. Just rebuild it. Yeah, no. Severe weather, tornado basics. Eh, I don't even really care. Weather's scary. What else do we have, dude? Um... Tsunamis are probably my top. Did you guys watch the eclipse? Oh, did you see the eclipse? I saw it for a little bit. Yeah, it was cool. I didn't have one of those glasses, so I was just trying to like. We put on three pairs of glasses of just sunglasses, and then it turned it, and then you could see. It. I was trying to like <laughs> this, and I walked inside, and my fucking eyeballs were hurting. So don't look at it for sure. Yeah, no, but it no. was weird. It did get like a little cold, for a like little when bit? the when it like was on top of it. Oh yeah. Cause it was it was dark, but we were like looking at it, me and Marcus, and then I walked back into my room. My room was like dark. I was like, I had to turn a light on. Yeah, it wasn't a total eclipse, which I guess is when it gets dark. It was an annular eclipse, which it gets a little bit darker, but it doesn't like get really dark. Yeah, it has like the uh, ring of fire around it. I mean, I guess that's cool. Shout out. Yeah, shout out. Shout out to Rings of Fire. Shout out Ring of Fire. Did you hear about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey conspiracy theories? Oh, no. Let me hear this. I need to hear this. So... So with so Taylor Swift, <clears throat> I don't know when this was, but she people were giving her shit for riding a private jet. Like it puts like <clears throat> like the, the the emissions or something from riding. Yeah. Like the environmentalists were getting all like woke about it, right? So then she goes to a Jets game. So like the first thing you Google Taylor Swift jet is is like her private jet. But then she went to there was like a. Uh, Kansas City. article she yeah. went to the Jets she went to a Jets game not the Kansas City this is before this before Travis Kelsey and then so now the first thing when you Google is Taylor Swift Jets it comes up with her at the Jets game so it like got oh. like it moved attention away from her private jet so now I guess Travis Kelsey came out about like the vax and about like fucking woke shit and she's huge on that she's like super woke so it's like a he's in like a Pfizer commercial. oh that's what it is yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So we think I think it's just like a publicity st stunt. Oh, maybe the Jets thing is I think funny. The Jets, oh, it's kind of like Walt. Yeah, like Walt, Walt Disney, Disney and the Frozen. And Frozen. You told me that. Yeah. yeah, it's like that. Yeah. So they made a Frozen movie, so that pops up instead of him being frozen in ice. I don't know, but it checks out for me. Oh, have you seen that? Um, it's like the there's like a a secret Disney club called Thirty Three. What is it? And it's like a it's like a people with like millions of dollars they, they're in like this disney club and there's like underground like oh no that's the that's like the those are the people like the human trafficking rings and shit yeah at disneyland oh there's it's like, there yeah there's like there's like underground, uh, tunnels? underground tunnels i wouldn't be surprised all kinds of all kinds of like sketchy stuff but it's like it's called club 33 and it's like you you have to be asked to be in it and it's like millions of dollars billion billionaires yeah billionaires i believe it dude yeah if you have that much money, dude, you're going to be doing wanna, sketchy just shit. Just one day. I just want to just know. The stuff. truth? Just the truth. I think... I think if I had three wishes, just I just want to know the <laughs> fucking truth. About everything. About everything. <laughs> I just want to... I want... That's a good... That's a really good wish. That's a good one, wish. One, just to know the Every, truth of everything. <laughs> yeah. But would you... I, well, okay, hold on. Power, hold dude. on. Would you take yeah, no that truth. wish, but you can't tell anybody what you saw? No one. Fuck. Could you say it? No. Never? Ever. I don't know. No. No? You'd be, it'd be a lonely life. Yeah. Just knowing everything? Yeah. But, but it wouldn't matter because people would think you're insane. Maybe there's people or out Or maybe there you'd like be that. happy enough being like, well, at least I know I'm not. Yeah. But the fact that you got a wish means shit's already crazy. Yeah. Like, they'll be like, how do you know that? And you're like, because... I, I got a fucking... I, asked I had fucking a genie. genie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
and yeah, you just look like I you're, rubbed a lamp. They, put, they probably put you in a fucking yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and if you're if you're saying shit that you're exposing all the shit, oh, oh you're, you're, then you're dead right away. You're Epstein right away. Yeah, no, that would I wouldn't want that one. Yeah, it's a good wish. It is a good wish to just know if all these conspiracies are true. Yeah. Yeah. But like, I need factual like proof. Proof. I think there is proof out there, but they just get keep getting shut down. The proof dude. is out there. It is. Open your eyes. That's the fucking, that's, that's the episode name. The, the proof, proof is, is out there. there. <laughs> Found it. Eyes wide shut. Eyes wide shut. That's a sketchy ass movie about the fucking elite. Really? Nicole Kidman and uh, Tom Cruise. Eyes wide shut. It's scary as fuck. Illuminati fucking. Really? Like Illuminati, like, like uh, human trafficking, weird, sketchy devil shit. Yeah. Have you seen um, American Made? It's on Netflix. Oh, it's with Tom Cruise. No, it's a brand really? new like movie on it's Netflix. It's not brand new. Well, it's not brand new, but it's on Netflix. They just put it on Netflix. It's good. It's pretty good. I watched it the other night. But he like flies. Oh no, no, I've seen that. Well, he's like a drug dealer. Or, like, yeah, he, 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 he's like he's the he's the the the, the, the gringo who delivers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah, movie's yeah. fire. It's actually a good movie, yeah, 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 yeah. bro. I, I was like, I was surprised how how good it is. Well, the car- I'm the not carrier? a huge Tom Cruise. I'm fan. not either. But I mean, he he makes bangers, dude. He's he's like an A-list. I've never watched American. I typed in maid like a maid, like a cleaning maid. That movie's fire. That was really good. What have I? Uh, I've only watched like the. I haven't seen any of the Mission Impossible. I've never seen any Mission Impossible. I haven't even seen the new Top Gun. I've seen the new Top Gun. Good. I liked it. I don't. I'm I'm just being a hater. I haven't seen it. Uh, that movie, uh, Edge of Tomorrow, is fire with him. Oh, yeah, that one is kind of good. I don't know. If, maybe I do like Tom Cruise. I like... Maybe we do like Tom Cruise. Maybe we do like Tom But I'm not Cruise. saying like he's one of my top... He's probably the top five biggest actors ever, but he's not yeah. like one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, okay. Do you think you've walked more steps or read more words in your life? Fuck. That's crazy. Because you're reading all the time. Yeah. You're not walking all the time. With Twitter and shit, we've probably read more words. Maybe back then. Before people, phones? Before phones. Because then what are you reading? Like you're reading like a phone Even menu. like text messages too. Like Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's got to be words. It has to be words, right? By a lot. Even if you walk, like let's say. Or even like people who read books. Yeah. But how many, how many, what's the average, average amount of words in a book? I guarantee you they don't read as many, 80,000 words in a book, fuck. I bet you we read I think more 80, than 000, that a week. I think 80,000 steps is like a marathon. It's like 25 miles. It's got to be words. We see, word, like on a food menu, in your car, you see street signs. Yeah. We're seeing words all the time. Yeah, and you just read oh, them without even knowing, too. but you could be reading the same, too. like, maybe different words, no. But read, different words, no, but words. total amount of words. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be words, especially with our phones now and social media. Yeah, for sure. Because not many people, I don't, I'm not walking a lot. Maybe at work, but that can't be more than, yeah, no way. You should track how much, how much steps you do at work a day. I should. My fucking Apple Watch is, is going down the drain, dude. But it's got to be words. Okay, this, this trend has been going around on TikTok. How often do you think about the Roman Empire? <laughs> I got asked that the other day, and exactly. I was like, I was like, oh, every other day. It's, it was important. It's, fuck. <laughs> it's important as fuck. <laughs> the rise and fall of the an empire, the the rise and fall of an empire, dude. It's where we are right now. Every empire comes to an end once we get fucking the dark arts steps in, dude. Every every civilization. Are you comes being to an serious end. right now? <laughs> <laughs> Is this a bit? Is this a bit? <laughs> every other day. No, I don't think about it that much. I think about it probably once a, a, every two weeks, once a month. I was thinking maybe once a month. I've thought about it, for sure. Yeah. It, it's like girlfriends asking their boyfriends. Yeah, right? they're like, and how often do they're like, Every day. <laughs> they <go into laughs> it's <a> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, they invented the, like, currency. Oh, like, did they? I think so. I don't know that much about it. I just feel like how Rome collapsed because it got too, like, it got, everybody was fucking around and it got too crazy and it got to like the peak of its civilization. 
and then it fell. I don't know why it fell. I don't know anything about the Roman Empire, but I've, I think once a month, once a month, dude, once a month. <laughs> Every time I watch Three Hundred, <laughs> yeah, is that even in Rome? Yeah, is that the Roman Empire? Three Hundred, part of the Roman Empire. Three Hundred's in uh, ancient Greece, I believe. Sparta. <laughs> that's what I said, and that's that is what I said. <laughs> You're like I've seen Troy. Yeah. Also not in Rome, but now yeah. I don't know. Every time I go to Little Caesars, for sure. You go to Little Caesars. When you get Little wait, Caesars? Caesar was Rome, right? He was the king of Rome. Yeah, he was a Roman emperor. When Roman. you get a Little Caesars pizza, yeah, 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 yeah think about Rome yeah. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think about it as much as it's a funny thing because it's like kind of a guy thing. It's a dude thing for sure. But also, I think history is kind of a guy thing. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think about probably 9-11 more than I think about the Roman Empire. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting to think about. That's that's, a, I, I think that that's a, a very funny trend. Yeah. It's a hilarious trend. Exactly. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm going to sit there, and I really need to think about it and see how many times I fucking think about Roman I need to Empire. look into it more yeah. and see actually what about the Roman Empire I think about. Yeah. But do you have a Halloween costume? No Halloween costume. Not yet. I, haven't, I, I probably should figure that out. I think I'm going to rock with Harry Potter again, just dude. That, just <laughs> 10 years in a row, baby. <laughs> but shout out Halloween. Shout um, out Halloween. Spooky season is upon us. And that's today's episode, though. I think we're Gucci, dude. Quick one that's today. Uh, but we appreciate you guys so much for all the love and support. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment below. Thank you for watching every week with us, every other week, whatever we put them out. We appreciate you guys month. so much. <laughs> um, again, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment below. Let us know what you think about the Roman Empire, uh, the K5 robot. If you believe in Bigfoot. Bigfoot, like Travis Kelsey and, and Taylor Swift, <laughs> and the Taylor trailer. Swift. <laughs> the trailer. Uh, but yeah, we love you guys so much. Again, play the music. <laughs> Thank you.